and this stuff was disgusting. This has definitely never ever been changed. Look at the colour of that. It was brown. So welcome back to another video. In the last video, we done the gearbox service on the DQ500. And as for the last one, we will be doing the diffs this time around. So in here, I've got what we need, which is two of these, one for the front, one for the back. We also have four new plugs. So let's get under the car and let's change the fluid. It's quite straightforward and you should only need basic hand tools and a torque wrench. And obviously something to fill it up with. This is my pump which I use to put the fluid back into the diffs. So let's crack on and do this. So this is the rear diff. There's your drain. There's your fill. Let's get the fill one off first before we drain it. I believe that's a five or six mil hex, but I'll let you know in a second. So yes, it is a five mil hex to undo these and definitely always undo the fill before undoing the drain. Otherwise, you won't be able to fill it up once you've drained it. So remember to do that first. Also remember to do this whilst the car is level. And now we're removing the drain. <clears throat> The fluid is never really that bad on the rear diff as these are held X and mainly front wheel drive until the rears need to kick in. So the rear fluid, never really that bad compared to the front. As soon as I finish, we'll put a brand new plug in there and then we torque that. To 15 newton meters. Go. So with a nice new drain plug fitted and torqued spec, we now start filling. So we put our hose in from our pump and we just pump away until it starts dripping out. If you're enjoying these videos and find them helpful, why not give us a like, maybe leave a comment and even consider subscribing to the channel. So with that all trickling out now, we will now put the fill plug back in. When tackling this job, always remember to use new fill and drain plugs as they have built-in washers. And top that to 15 newton meters. Once we've finished torquing up the fill plug, we want to give the area a nice little clean. That's the rear one done. Now let's go and jump on the front. Right, so now we're at the front of the car. You can see there's something there. So if I turn around, you'll see it here. So that is our drain. I don't know whether you'll be able to see it. There you go, and that is our fill. So, literally same as the rear one. Top, off first, and then drain. So, let's whip those off, and hopefully they come off without too much hassle. So I'm just gonna try and use that for the top one. Space is limited when you're removing the fill plug from the front diff. So once you've got the tools in there, you can't really see what you're doing. So you'll have to do it pretty much by feel. But it is pretty straightforward to do and it's not really that tight. So it's pretty easy to get it undone and get that plug out of the way. I remember when I did this on the TTS, it came out black. And this stuff was disgusting. This has definitely never ever been changed. Look at the color of that. Hopefully, this one is going to be a lot cleaner. So let's see how bad the fluid is on the TTRS. Hopefully it shouldn't be as bad because it's done half the miles as the TTS. But let's see. So let's whip that drain plug out. Uh, definitely not as bad, but definitely looks like it was due to get changed. So. 
I'm happy with changing the diff fluids. So I'll leave that to drain out. Let's speed the video up until the old fluid is out. Right, same again. New plug. There we go. Let's connect our hose to the fill hole and fill it full of fresh fluid. So as you can see, it's overflowing. So we know we've got enough in there. And here's another new plug. Same again, talk it to 15 newton meters. And now clean up any mess you made. So that's all the diffs done, the rear diff and the front diff, also known as the bevel box, is all sorted and nice fresh fluid. That's probably never ever been done before and not many people do it. And to be fair, it doesn't take long and it's not that expensive. Um, I can put a link in the description to the parts I used. So if you want to do this yourself, but I thought while it's up in the air, let's do it. Let's just get as much things done as possible before we actually start using this on the road. So next video, we'll probably be doing a full service, and I mean full service, oil filter, air filter, oil, fuel filter, spark plugs, pylon filter, all of it. So yeah, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.